एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पार्ट नंबर टू फॉर एग्जामिनर्स रिपोर्ट डीब्रीफ नाउ व्हेन इट कम्स टू ट्रिपल ए पेपर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ एग्जामिनर इज कमिंग अप विद न्यू क्वेश्चंस एवरी डे द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दे वांट टू एग्जामिन इज you know the pattern is changing a little bit especially when it comes to the risk question that we saw in the first part we saw that we don't have to identify the risk the examiner has already identified and we need to justify as to why it was considered a high risk area so i hope everybody understood that particular important question you should definitely solve this particular question before you sit for the september exam now coming on to the part number 2 where the examiner has focused on ethics like literally too much okay so here is another learning from part number 2 that ethics is going to play a very important role in upcoming exams and ethics are very 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 important now why you should see this particular part because examiner will tell you two different things first of all let's see how much we have covered and how much we are left with so we have already covered question number 1 now in this video we will be covering question number 2 and finally in the last part which will be the next part we will be covering question number 3 okay now when it comes to question number 2 it will be of 25 marker the 5 would be the professional marks and 20 will be the technical marks now i am planning to make a separate video as to how to score professional marks let me know in the comment section if you are genuinely interested for it and i'll try to make it before september examination now when it comes to question number 2 we have a question where the pickle and company had two clients so this was a audit firm and he had two clients the brook and the suki okay so one was a listed company and one was an unlisted company and the whole requirement of 25 marks was revolving around the ethical requirements so you had to focus as to ethical a lot literally you know the examiner report has clearly told us that ethics is going to be the very important part fine now let's see the general comments first what were the general what was the overall performance by students there were two simple requirements okay two basic requirement i guess it was 10 10 each now for the first part students did it well but when it came to second part lot of students struggled and they gave a general answer instead of a case specific answer where your majority of the marks will be deducted so in today's video we will understand how we need to say these marks how we need to ensure that we are writing only the case specific answers and we are avoiding the general comments fine now let's see the overviews of this particular question what was the question and i know you will have to read the entire question through your practice platform let's see a little bit about it it is first july you are the manager in pickle and co a firm of cca which offers a range of assurance and accountancy services as a part of your firm system of quality management independent assessments are required for all new clients engagements and as a part of continuation process for the existing clients prior to reappointment so it was very much clear from this particular paragraph that they were implementing the quality management for all the clients be it a new client or be it an existing client whether they want to get reappointed the quality management system was very 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 important so as i told you there were two companies brook and suki okay so brook had first and suki had second requirement now let's go to the first requirement which was around brook company i believe so in this question we had like 10 technical marks now you need to understand the requirement even the examiner has clearly told in his report that students are not reading the requirement they are not allocating the marks in a proper manner now 10 marks two parts in two parts there are sub requirements first explain the ethical threats identified the identified by the audit engagement manager so in the question there will be certain threats which will be given to you which has been identified by the manager so here 
your marks has been distributed regarding the identification and explanation now if you only identify in your questions you will not be getting full marks and if you only explain without you know mentioning why and without giving a proper explanation again you will end up losing lot of marks the second requirement was evaluate the proposed safeguards so there were certain safeguards which were proposed by the manager so you had to evaluate them as a first part and second recommend alternative safeguards okay wherever appropriate so you have to prepare your mind accordingly that dude when it comes to the 10 marks i have four requirements not two how four ma'am two for first part and two for another second part what are the two requirements for first question identification and explanation and for the second part ma'am evaluation of safeguards and suggesting alternative safeguards so your 10 marks are divided into these four parts if you end up missing up any part and if you don't answer to the question of any specific part you will obviously not score the full marks no matter how well you explain it okay now when it oh my animation skills now when it comes to requirement a the uh what was about the question so there were ethical issues which was identified by audit engagement partner and uh, he proposed certain safeguards to mitigate it what was required identification and explanation and secondly evaluation and suggesting the four requirements so as a student your biggest task in the first part was identify and why why now the major 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 mistakes that was done by student here so let's i'll give you an example that there was a familiarity threat in the question okay there was a familiarity threat now students identified and they try to write the textbook knowledge oh my god literally textbook knowledge that you know familiarity threat long term association close relationship everything but no guys no you have to relate your textbook knowledge to the scenario to the scenario as to let's say engagement partner would not perform the review properly why because he has close relationship right so you need to explain the why in context of the case in context of the case now what are the mistakes that were done by the students in this particular part let's see examiner has given us one example so in one of the instance there he has clearly mentioned to explain why the audit team been in place for 7 years presents an ethical threat okay okay so in this particular question you had to explain ma'am what was actually happening i believe that engagement partner was there for more than 7 years so everybody knows that you know this would be the example of the familiarity thread because he has been associated for a very long period of time now what was the correct answer first of all identifying that it was a familiarity thread and second was the explanation of why ma'am why what is a specific issue when it comes to this particular client when it comes to this particular engagement partner now what were the weak answers that they did not mention about long term association they did not relate to the case and they simply wrote the text based you know textbook language textbook definition of familiarity threat no guys if you are writing textbook you will get 0000 marks okay i have clearly told in the first part also that knowledge does not give you much marks in the triple a paper what actually fetches you marks is your skill to apply your knowledge in the question that is where you will actually get lot of marks okay so again the you know examiner has also highlighted in bold in the examiner report that there are minimal marks for the knowledge in triple a but when you actually tailor your answer and apply your knowledge in the case you will be fetching lot of marks okay now what were the certain pitfalls 
EQR, there was a question, there was a part related to the EQR. Students seem to have less knowledge about it. So make sure that you are not ignoring any specific area. Now, when it was regarding the alternative safeguard, which was the fourth requirement, that is the part B, second part of requirement, where you had to suggest an alternative safeguard. Examiner told that students wrote listed generic safeguards which did not you know which did not fetch them the marks in the brook company why see when it comes to the good answers effective answers were able to weigh up the ethical threats and commercial information provided to suggest suitable actions such as recruiting from the firm's wider network to ensure that the team members had adequate skills and experience i'll give you the you know example to explain this alternative safeguards thing for example, uh, you suggest that, you know, as an alternative safeguard, that new engagement partners should be appointed. Okay, let's say, for example, be it any scenario, you suggest that since you have already learned it, since you have already textbook language uh, knowledge, so what you do, you write a generic response and you did not relate it to the case and you simply wrote it, ma'am, I should appoint new engagement partner. But good morning, guys. Good morning. In the question, it was given in the last exhibit where the question clearly told you that we will not be recruiting in the current year due to the staff sh shortage in the economy or anything. Now, if the question has clearly told you that we will not be recruiting and you end up giving a safeguard that to recruit, Obviously, it would be the wrong solution. Obviously, it will be the wrong safeguard. So you need to be very attentive that, okay, whatever am I suggesting? Is it relating to the case? Do I have any other information in the case? Please ensure this. These are the common mistakes that are done by AAA students. Even I have noticed it myself. Now, coming on to the second requirement, what was it? See, lot of importance given to ethics in the first question there was ethics. In the second, also ethics, evaluate professional and ethical matters relating to the fees, impact on the proposed listing which should be considered prior to accepting appointment as an auditor for the financial statements of Suki Group. Now, guys, pay attention. First of all, tell me, evaluate word attention first attention is it discuss is it comment or is it evaluate it is evaluate second professional and ethical matters now if you end up writing only ethical matters that would be wrong if you end up writing only professional no you have to write ethical matters also ma'am do i have to segregate my answer between ethical and the professional requirement not required okay examiner will do that you give proper headings you explain your points you don't have to segregate these are the professional issues these are the ethical issues not required now what is being asked relating to the fees and and there is an and impact of the proposed listing so what was actually happening in the question is that Suki company is currently an unlisted company but in the future they were planning to get listed so while you are answering this question you had to keep this thing in mind that okay currently it is unlisted but in future it is considering to be the listed so as a good student while i am answering this requirement i need to cover both the aspect listed and future listed and future currently unlisted future listed okay so mindset that is where it shows how attentive you are while you are answering your requirements so fees the question the examiner has clearly told us that this was not well answered why because students were more specific towards the current they did not consider the future okay Lack of knowledge of the requirement of the code in relation to the fee level and the difference in guidance between listed and unlisted. Yes, I have seen, even seen it in my live classes also that you guys have a lot of confusion regarding the ethical needs of a listed company and an unlisted company. 
which should not be the case. You should be very clear with the courts as to these are the rules for listed company, these are the rules for unlisted company. You are lacking knowledge, just ask yourself, just be honest to yourself. Do I know everything regarding the rules of listed and unlisted company? Okay. In this scenario, the group was currently unlisted, but was rapidly expanding and was planning to seek the listing in the next two years. Therefore, the best answers were able to consider the ethical issue from both the angles, what the firm needed to consider currently as well as in the future. So as a good student, you have to pay attention to the both the things. Okay. So these were the major comments from the examiner report when it comes to the ethic. The biggest learning after this video should be I don't have to write a generic answer. I don't have to write a textbook definitions of ethics. I need to explain why in context of my case. Secondly, I will not give safeguards without reading the question. And fifth, I need to have a broader perspective when I am answering the question. I will not limit myself. Otherwise, I will not score professional marks. Okay. So that's it for this particular video. I'll see you in part number three, where we will be discussing question number three. So guys, once you, re you know, watch these videos, make sure that you go and revisit those questions because now you know from where I can read those questions, from where I can see the full entire question. You will understand things in a much better manner. Thank you so much for watching it till the end. Bye-bye, take care and all the best.